I get two support systems. Not only do I get my supportive team at the Benjamin Franklin Institute of Technology, but I also get my entire core of AAOMs who are always willing to problem solve together, um, share experiences and offer solutions. I really, really like my team at BFIT. It's a great group. And I've also really enjoyed getting to know everyone in the AmeriCorps program as well. Everyone has been so welcoming and has been so willing to build relationship um, because I knew when I came into the AmeriCorps program, there's this huge idea of getting things done. And what I've learned is it's not just about the work I produce. It's also about who I am as a person and how we are in relationship with each other and how we can grow alongside each other. Um, so that's been a really valuable part of the AOM experience. I've learned the best practices of mentoring and how to build up my program at BYW to further help our population um, and our community of Boston as a whole. Uh, it's been really impactful because the little small changes that I've learned to make end up having really big results as far as making the whole program more accessible, more equitable, more fair. And also it helps our youth to guide themselves in the directions they want to go in life. Even though everything has been virtual, I've still been able to build really strong relationships with other core members, as well as coworkers of mine at my organization. And to me, that speaks to a much larger pattern of who is attracted to this program and the types of organizations that participate in it as well. Um, people are incredibly welcoming and generous with knowledge sharing and building connections, whether they are virtual or in person. I've just been really surprised at just how like awesome everyone's been and how um, nice everyone's been and so great at communication and, um, I'm just very, very happy with the corp that I'm a part of. Um, and I just hope that after AmeriCorps, um, maybe we can, you know, become friends. What I love most about serving at Girls Inc. of Lynn is getting to witness the mentees' progress, building relationships with their mentors. I also love checking in with the amazing women mentors who serve as volunteers at our organization. They always have funny stories to share um, each week at the end of the mentoring sessions about what went on, um, something funny in an activity that they did, um, or just a little anecdote to share. Their commitment and dedication to the program continues to inspire me, especially during such a challenging and unique year. My favorite thing about being an AOM is um, really, you know, dedicating the year to service and um, just immersing yourself in your organization and helping as much as you possibly can and um, learning as much as you possibly can along the way. What I really loved about it is that we have just endless opportunities for professional development and it was something that I didn't really expect. Um, the nonprofit world can be a compli complicated place and I feel like MMP and my site have both been preparing me to confront the challenges and the nuances that exist in our field. And I feel like I've just had access to a lot of really structured learning opportunities both through MMP and outside. What I've loved the most about being an AOM is being able to connect with the people at my host site. Um, I love my supervisor and our positive relationship makes the work we do such a pleasure. And that's not even mentioning all the wonderful students I get to work with and get to know. I work at Steps to Success Brookline and I'm so proud of the work that we do. I look up to everybody on staff and we're really making a difference in our students' lives. I love this assignment, uh, creating a mentoring program with my assigned host site has given me the opportunities to set the foundation for underrepresented populations to create a better life for themselves and their family. Without this opportunity of IT networking to better their lives, who knows what will happen with these people and their families in the future. Um, this certainly is a better way to go and it's a quicker way to go and it is free of charge. MMP really aligned with 
things that uh, were important to me uh, and values that I hold. And through AOM and going into the MMP office and meeting my cohort, I really found such an incredible community um, as well as at my host site, which is why I decided to do a second year with MMP. Um, I wasn't ready to let go of it yet. It really feels like um, with the 20 other people, we've really created a great community and I feel like I could reach out to anyone for support and um, there are a lot of resources available. And then also at my host site, my direct supervisor and is a great support to me. And then also just the culture of my office is really focused on supporting me holistically. And I would say that that's a theme in the program is supporting us all holistically. What I really loved about being an, uh, an ambassador of mentoring has been um, having both the flexibility to develop my own passion projects and to grow what was in place when I arrived on the team. Um, I was welcomed so warmly and have had the opportunity to both develop new aspects of our mentor program and um, do some community organizing to benefit our refugee community. Being an ambassador of mentoring has given me the opportunity to um, work along with mentors and mentees and to see how their relationship grow and flourish and um, which can be a lifelong friendship. Um, just to see how mentors are able to, how both parties are able to, um, to benefit from the relationship is something that I really love. And um, being an AOM have allowed me to just watch this beautiful relationship grow and flourish. It's given me so many incredible opportunities to learn, to build skills, to work with wonderful people. Uh, I've loved the, camar the camaraderie uh, I've shared with my fellow AOMs, uh, and I've loved the opportunity to really better myself and do some good. Um, I've learned so many incredible things through this program, not the least of which is how to edit videos like the one you're watching right now. All of the members of the cohort have been so friendly and sweet, and I love the vibe of mutual support that we've got going on. Everybody is so happy to help each other out, whether it's um, helping each other out with projects, brainstorming ideas for different host site activities or advice, even helping each other out with finding ways to get more, more hours or doing a movie night. Um, I've just found everybody to be really supportive and sweet. I have loved being an AOM because I've been able to participate in a program that really just aims to provide positive role models to our first generation college students so that they can thrive in higher education and meet their post-secondary goals. And, and I'm so happy that I can actively support these students so that they can not only develop, but also reach their positive, their academic and career, as well as personal goals. And I'm, um, I'm excited that I am part of this journey. I definitely had a couple times this year where I've thought to myself, wow, being in this AOM space really brings out the best in me and brings out the best in people too. Um, it's rare that you find a professional place where you can be so openly reflective and you can collaborate to a group without any inhibitions or judgment. Um, but I think that's exactly the type of space that the AOM community provides. It's really cool that people are kind of all doing their own things at their different host sites, but that at the end of the day, we can get together and share the same wins and talk about the same struggles alongside um, each other, knowing that we're kind of in this together. What I love about being an AOM is that I'm able to come back to the host site that has watched me grow up and develop into the young woman that I am today. And I enjoy the fact that I'm able to keep doing what I love, which is working with you. <laughs>